Now the temperature down here remains around the 24, 26 degrees all year round regardless of how hot or cold it fares. Now you see that's your sandstone roof. Now that's opal clay, sandstone again there. The opal clay varies in thickness. See over here, drop down to that. Now opal has a rule, it's where you find it. You don't find any more trace of you stop digging, otherwise how far do you keep going? It could be just inside that wall or two kilometres away. Yeah. So why dig for nothing? Now around Lightning Ridge, there's areas dug out over 50 odd years ago, the full size of the claims, with no props, it slides or falls, but it doesn't mean it's always there, but they'll chase it around them anyway. Now if you mind away and you took all that dirt away, what would be holding that bit up? Slide down and trap you. Now if you if you analyse that there from that fault there, back over here and through that, and that lines up with that one there, if you get what I mean, see there? You just imagine that there would be all on an angle like that there, see? So if you're mining away there, this piece could slide down and trap you. So they're all part of your mining course to make sure you understand know how to mine safely. Now as you come down here, you can see where they've been chasing it all up through there. And come down here, watch your head on this next corner here, they don't want the helmet scratch. You'd be surprised how many people think I'm serious, I don't know why they think that. Funny down here a while back. Yeah, it's funny down here a while back. That big group of kids down here were concerned. And of course, I said that watch the helmet back there in the corner. Blake hit his helmet here, so and the kids just said, Hey, look, he hit his helmet, he hit his helmet. The kids aren't here what you tell them, do they? <laughs> they just cracked them all up. Yeah, normally they don't hear what you say. Now, the um, people aren't living underground around Lightning Ridge because the ground is too damp. Not only that, it's a totally different structure ground of Cooper P and White yeah. Cliffs, where they've got massive great big cathedral rooms over there and no props. And so, here, come over here. Now, he's been building this place for about 26 years. He's Italian. He lives in there. And see, no matter what the shape of the stone is, look how neat you fit it in. Same sort of keystones over all these doors and windows. Look how neat you did this pillow post. We'll come through this way. So what happened when you came to Everyone did what they wanted to read. Now, plans have to go into the council, the engineers, the report, put on paper and approve before anything more can be done. The bureaucratic system is it up. The bar comes from the bar, and that's the problem. Now this is all the tunnel down around here. It's all the tunnel. Right And when you look down this hole here, this is the hole the three foot drilling rig drills. This is the one they work down. You can used to see the bottom down there. Often there's a nice cool draft coming up there, and when they use them for toilets, the paper comes up past you. Okay. It's a bit different, isn't it? See what sort of beautiful job he did of it. 
It's all local stone collected from the gravel fields around Lightning Ridge. Build a moat down here. Well, every castle has to have a moat, doesn't it? They just up here used to have a hangman's noose, but the bureaucrats made him pull it down. They couldn't see the funny side of that. That one on the video, they made them pull that down. Yeah, and that's the trap door on the floor. Well, you've got to do things right when you build things, haven't you? That's right. Yeah. And um, see the beautiful archwork he did. He'll spend hours just trying to find the right stone to fit into a spot. Yep. You can see the trouble is trying to get all these corner stones. See that? How they all blend in. Thanks for the kids. Now up the top there you see the little what they call fairy marks, a little bird like a little canary. Now when you see them fly in there, they must have an elastic band trying to pull up my bike on the aircraft carrier. The bars on the windows, the fingers off an old sunshine head of a stripping wheat. This town was known as the most recycled town in Australia. Everything recycled into something else. Fully air conditioned, full flow through air conditioning. A while back, you used to have a big old buck koala sitting in the fork of the tree out there, but late last year he died, apparently old age. He was beautiful sitting in the tree. 